We are talking marathon running training. I'm gonna give you three strategies to avoid the dreaded performance plateau. Now, what is that performance plateau? Well, it's that uh, time in your marathon running where all of a sudden your running feels really stagnant. It's not improving anymore. Maybe that first, second, even third marathon or even applying to half marathon or really any runner, you started to see those improvements. Well, what happened is that all the low hanging fruit has been plucked, your running has started to level off and you've even noticed that your running has started to drop a little bit and it can be a frustrating place to be. But it is not a place you'll be forever and in fact there are some pretty easy fixes which I'm going to talk about today. A lot of it boils down to your ability to mix up your training and give your body that varied stimulus that is going to foster and create those improvements that's going to get you running faster again. I'm going to go through those three different things depending on being in the beginning phase or the pre-phase of your marathon, the middle aspect of your marathon training, and finally what you can do and the end part of your marathon training as well. Now the first phase is going to actually include some speed work and maybe even some shorter course racing either in the month or two before you plan for a marathon or in your off season. Now here's the deal, most of the time when we think about our off season, we think about developing our base, our aerobic foundation, which is usually primarily done by doing a lot of long, slow, steady miles. That works except when your marathon training includes a long, slow, steady mile. So if you do a long, slow, lot of long, slow, steady miles in your training for the marathon and then you're doing all that on the outside, everything is the same and that's where you get that stagnant set. So when you're not marathon training, go fast. And that can be accomplished by running 5K races or shorter or doing a four to six to eight week progression on the track, working on your mile time, your two mile time, and your 5K time, something like that. So that's a key part for phase one of your speed work. Now as you get closer to your race and you get into the heart of that marathon program, your training has to mirror more specifically the demands of the course and usually what that means is that you're going to be running a lot more time on pavement if you just so happen to have trail options and a lot of marathon courses are pretty flat or flat to rolling so you're deliberately going to go more for that flat to rolling terrain for your long runs and maybe your tempo runs. But what that means in that kind of early middle phase, you can actually do some type of work that's actually gonna be still a little different, which is actually gonna help your body out a lot later on. And we accomplish that with some hills. So in that kind of early middle phase of marathon training, I actually like to take it to the hills a lot and work on 60 second to 90 second hill repeats. And uh, that's a nice way to also introduce hill and speed work. If you've never done speed and intensity work before, the hill work shortens your stride. It uh, prevents those hamstrings from getting too fried. And uh, it's a nice, it also takes the pounding away because you're going uphill, you're not moving as fast. So it gradually introduces the body to that shock that can be that faster work. So early marathon phase, uh, hill work can be so valuable and then you can take that and transition more to specific work later on. Now the final phase of your ability to stay out of that plateau is actually going to be more about keeping up your speed from a neuromuscular perspective. Now at the end of the marathon phase you're going to be pretty fried. You've done the bulk of your mileage, you've done the bulk of your long runs, you've built up your longer tempo runs and uh, you're going to be pretty tapped out and maybe a little cranky, who knows. So it's really important uh, once a week, usually maybe at the end of your tempo runs or even your long runs, to add a real set, a real short set of speed work just to get the body used to running fast again. And one of the best things you can do is actually take the shoes off if you have access, run on a soccer field or a football field, or anything that's free and clear, and do some strides, right, which is basically, a, you know, you start at a 5k pace and you build up to a sprint for about 50 meters and you could stretch it to as far as 100 meters but the key thing is that you run, you start running with really good form, you wind it up as much as it feels good to wind it up and then you walk all the way back so all of a sudden you're working for one aspect and you're probably resting for three or four aspects so it's not 
challenging on you from a fitness perspective, but it's really good for running form, for foot speed, and as I said, that little neuromuscular connection, hey, this is what running fast looks like. It keeps you sharp at a crucial part of your training. So there you have it, you've got your three phases, and uh, you follow these three phases, you add them in, you will continue to build speed and strength as you get ready for your marathons, and you will avoid those plateaus. That is it on our video on marathon running training. I hope you liked the strategies to stay out of that marathon plateau, that speed plateau. And if you like this, go ahead and let me know. Hit that like button down below. Uh, do you have any comments or questions on some of the workouts that I provided? Or do you have any requests for future videos you'd like to see from me? Go ahead and hit us up in the comments section down below. And mostly, definitely subscribe to our channel, The Run Experience. We've got so many great videos coming out all the time on run workouts as well as strength exercises, injury prevention work, running technique, you name it, we got it. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And uh, you know, if you are really wanting to dig a little bit deeper into your marathon training, well, we have a free comprehensive marathon guide that's downloadable. We want to give it to you. The way we can give it to you is this. You, all you need to do is click on this link in this video up here. Uh, if you so happen to be on a mobile device, we got you covered in the description with a link down there too. And if you click either link, it's going to take you to a little web page. And once you're there, all you need to do is enter in your name and your email address. And then I'll be able to personally email you your downloadable guide. You'll love it. Uh, so enjoy that. And once again, thanks so much for watching the video. We'll catch you in the next one.